Hello YouTube fam, it's your boy Big V and welcome to another episode of My Financial Fun House. As promised, today we will talk about the vehicle write-off episode. If you haven't already, please check out the first episode that pertains to tax business write-offs. There's a lot of them and I'm super passionate about them. But today, we will talk about the best one, the vehicle write-off. So, as you know, when you register yourself as a business, you can depreciate 30% of your car's cost year by year and use that as a tax write-off. And that's exactly what I've done. Let's take a seat and hang out. Everyone knows having a car is awesome. It's so convenient. You're super mobile. But a lot of times buying a car has not been financially prudent. If you didn't know already, cars are not an asset. They are a liability. They can still work as an investment, but in general, they're not gaining value. So for the longest time, as the purveyor of my financial funhouse, it wasn't financially prudent. Until now, with the business write-off. You may have also noticed that the quality of this video has gone significantly up. That's because I can actually afford a cameraman now. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment so I can keep paying the guy. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get to the brass tacks of it all. How much did I pay? How do I write this off? And what do I need to even take advantage? How much did I pay for my car? I paid $30,000 after tax. And that's a perfect amount for us to do the business write-off number. So, what is the vehicle business write-off quickly? Basically, if you're using your vehicle for business purposes, you can write that off against the income tax that you've already paid that year. Thereby, now your car is actually a vehicle for helping you increase your investments and reduce your tax bill. Now your car is actually functioning as an asset. So the first thing you want to do is ascertain how much you're using that vehicle for business. Once you've done that, let's say for easy math, 90%. So my car cost $30,000. I can write off 27,000 of that against my taxes. I can only do a third of that year by year, but by the end of the third year, I've depreciated the cost of the entire vehicle and I've lowered my tax bill and I've increased my convenience, which is why people get a car to begin with, right? So now you're actually giving yourself an extra reason to buy that car. So now you can actually go out there and justify it for yourself. The best part is the depreciation doesn't stop at just the cost of your vehicle. Every time you buy gas and you're using that for business, guess what? That's a write-off. Your insurance, it's a write-off. The miles you take for business, it's a write-off. So it's also a continued depreciating asset against your taxes. So now again, you're taking the control into your hands. And guess what? That's only one of plenty of write-offs. So now, instead of taxes being taken off without you knowing where the heck they're going, you're in control of your taxes. And in a sense, you're now being more and more in control of your destiny. I mean, look at this beautiful background. I wouldn't be here if I didn't work for myself and if I wasn't registered as a business and writing off my expenses to help my bills. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me and watching my videos. This has been a crazy, crazy ride. I just want you to know that I'm super thankful for everything. And the whole point of this video and my channel at large is to teach you great habits that put you in the financial driver's seat. Get it? Stay tuned for some upcoming videos and images about my new baby. Please drop a comment down below on what you think about my first car. As always, I'm your host, Big V. Peace.